I'm Birin Tipo. I'm an ALS of engineering graduate. I was in cohort seven. I graduated a week ago. To me, do hard things is a mindset, a powerful mindset. It means get out of your comfort zone. It means venture into the unknown. It means push yourself beyond your limits. It's a, a mindset of growth, of transformation. It's a mindset of accountability, and it's a mindset of see your own potential. You don't know how much potential you have until you step out of your comfort zone and do something that you never ever thought you could do. Do hard things mean that get out there, try it out. Nothing is too much for you to achieve. I mean, what's there to lose? Trying it out, it's either you can fail or you succeed, but that like, failure is actually a stepping stone. You know, it's an opportunity to try again. It's an opportunity to, you know, take a step back and learn from your mistakes. You really, really want it, you can do it. I don't know it's not an excuse good enough when you do hard things. Do hard things, like there's no excuses with that because, I mean, that's the point. It's supposed to be hard, you're not supposed to know. And that's the whole point of it. If, if it was easy, there's no point of doing it. it. It's like the driver of innovation, the driver of growth. If I wasn't a software engineer, I would have loved to be an educator. I love education and I think one of the ways to transform lives is through education. I want to venture into edtech and develop solutions and solve problems that are limiting education as we know it right now. I want to be an educator but through tech. I want to make learning available and easy for everyone using technology and this is why for my final project I developed a peer learning platform that also encourages inclusion so it brings together like people who can hear but it doesn't leave out people who have hearing impairment. And right now we're developing like a sign language AI that will be able to translate in real time spoken language into signs and signs into spoken language so this way as I value collaborative learning, especially that's the way to go for me, like the expertise is in the team, as I always say, and when people learn together, like it's like nothing, there's nothing you can't solve. So I want to have a platform where deaf people can learn with hearing people. They're not, they shouldn't feel left out. ALX is a program that it has people from all over the world. We don't learn in a physical space, even though we have the hubs, but still you want to, like, there's a deaf person in Rwanda who would like to learn with hearing people from Kenya, they should not be left out. So I would love to develop this and make and create a space for inclusion where people come together, people learn, because everyone always has something to bring to the conversation. You can always learn something from everyone. And I value education a lot. Like it's the only way to transform society. It transforms mindset. We've come out of retrogressive cultures and habits because of education right and we're going to go even further it's empowering so yes i'm going to use the knowledge and skills i've gained here and even more knowledge that i'm going to gain since now i have the ability to learn and i know how to learn i'm going to use all this knowledge and experience to develop education